Hello, welcome to this quick tip. And in this quick tip, we're going to be finding out how you discover the date and the time or the date time of the last bar on the chart. Uh, but you do this on the first bar of the chart, or at least the first bar after the number of max bars back. So let's go and just look at the chart so I can explain it a little more. And uh, the first bar of the chart here after the max bars back, which is one, is 23.10 on the 4th of December. And you'll see I've got that being printed out here in the pro program. And uh, also tells us the bar number, max bars back. But then what we need to know is the last count, the, um, the last date and bar time of the last bar. And this is telling us that it is 12, 12, 13, 40. So if we go to the uh, the end of the chart you'll see i've just refreshed it that indeed the last bar is 12 12 and 13 14 now the, the key thing is here that we're not going through the whole chart and processing everything this is telling us this on the very first bar so let's just uh, have a look at the program very very simple and uh, what we're doing we've got a one statement we've got a clear print log then we're printing the uh, the bar type and the bar date time and incidentally, because this is once, this is going to run on the first bar that uh, that is processed, and then it's not going to run again. So we're just looking up the, the bar date time, and then we're formatting that using these various formats. And you've got a number of different format options that you can use when you're using the, the format capability of bar date time. So that's telling us the bar of the first bar on the chart. But we want to know the date and time and date time of the last bar on the chart. We do that using last calc date, like so, and last calc time. Now that is fine normally, but with the last calc time, you're only getting the time to the minute level. If we want to see the seconds level, then we're probably going to want to use last calc date time. And again, we can use the format, which is telling us we want the month, the day, the year, and then we're going to have the time here um, expressed as uh, our in the 12 hour clock, minute, second, and then PM or AM, whereas up here we have hour in the 24 hour clock. Okay, so that is the program. Now, there is just one thing. Uh, if we got this applied, for example, to a Renko chart, let me just do that just to demonstrate. So I'm just gonna go here, turn it off this chart, and I'm gonna go to the Renko chart, and turn it on. Okay, and you'll see that we've got a bar type of 13, which uh, which is um, is correct. If we just look at the the program, you'll see that I've put in the various bar types, and uh, 13 would be for Renko. And similarly, as we had before, it's saying the uh, the bar date time of the first bar is 10 13 9 15 so let's just go back it's the this bar here um 10 13 16 yep and 9 15 39 yep that's correct to the second and uh, let's just have a look at the the last bar okay well we can see the dates the same only the time there is showing 1338. And even if we look at the, the date time, it's showing um, 13853, whereas this bar is 133948. And that is the, because when this thing is applied to the chart, it does indeed tell us the date time of the last bar, but that bar continues to develop on the chart.